Okay, I want a vector multiplied by another vector. And if I get a vector times a vector and it's equal to zero, I know they're perpendicular, it says they're perpendicular. I need that vector equation, I need that vector equation. Are we doing closest approach or is this just the distance? Oh, I just said distance. Yeah. So it's not closest approach, it's just a distance. From that point to A line. By the way, it's 3D and it doesn't look like that, but it's okay if I just draw it up like that and see what's going on. How do I go from there to there? The negative B plus C. You could think that, or you can just go how far from 1 to 3? 2. How far from 2 to 3? 1. 1 to 4. Three. And I've made, tried to make them all easy numbers. Tried to. How do we go from there to there? Uh, is this 2, 3, 1? Oh, negative. Negative 2. Negative we could three. write this negative 2, 3, 1 if we wanted to. How do I go from there to there? Uh, just 1, 2, 1. Oh, 1, 2, 1. Yeah. one, two, one. Mm. And now, how do I go from... I know how to get to there, but I don't know how to get to there. So it's the means are of that 2, yeah. one, 3. So the line is 1, 2, 1 plus that. Got it. So you can shortcut this like crazy, mate. To go from A to B, I'm going to actually write this for one sake of someone watching the video. I'm going to go AO plus OB plus a certain amount of BC. And that's our equation for AO. Let's write a, a, B, I mean. So AO is, I'm going to write it as, I'm just going to write it as that, 2, 3, 1. OB is 1, 2, 1. We don't know how many of those. And BC was 2, 1, 3. Could tidy that up. I could just go minus 2 plus 1, so it's minus 1 plus 2 lambda. Okay, Riley. That'll be minus 3 plus 2, meaning I guess not make a mistake. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 plus lambda. That'll be minus 1 plus 1 is 0, zero plus three, 3 lambda, so I don't have to write 0, of course. And that's AD, that's vector AD, not equation of line AD, it's vector AD. Now if I multiply AD by what? BC. Should get zero. Get zero if they're perpendicular. So the idea of if they're perpendicular, so only when they give you zero will we have the correct lambda. Only when we have a zero multiplied. So then you whack that in and you've got so minus you one. Just solve. Yeah. Uh, what can you solve though? How much can you use solver on your calculator? You can do um, simultaneous equations. There's only one variable. It's not about simultaneous. It's oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to think of this as simultaneous. Well, by the way, if you went back up to here for a moment, we had AD, which was that. And if I multiply that by that, there's the whole question. You could actually learn the whole question of the formula. The point you're starting with, go back to the origin, go back to the first point we're talking about, um, and go, well, how far is it across there? That's BC. I need a certain number of those and then multiply by the same thing again. It's got to equal naught. Solve it, and how do you solve that, right? Well, you just do three different. It's not three different, it's one. Oh, it's a dot product. Dot product. Oh, okay. So you've got minus two. I need room. Oh, that's okay. Minus two plus four. Yep, tell me, Hinder. Keep going. Uh, minus one plus lambda. Yep. And then just minus lambda. Yes. So my lambdas are 13, 13 lambda, 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 19, 14, equals 3, equals 3 and you've got this revolting, yeah, you, know, you know that's pretty common. And you go, now what do I need? What am I actually looking for? I'm looking for that distance. Oh, you substitute in and get the magnitude. Yeah, so I want the magnitude of AD, so I'm after the magnitude of AD, which is Pythagoras. So first of all, you've got to substitute it in to get AD. <laughs> so what have we got for AD? Uh, here it is. So AD is actually, I'm going to bother to finish it. Oh my goodness. Minus 1 plus 6 on 14. I'm going to leave more as 14. So 2 lots of 3, 6 on 14. I got minus 1 plus 3 on 14. Not too bad when you leave all those 14. 9 on 14. 9 on 14. I've actually got minus 14 plus 6 is minus 8 on 14. Do you see it that quick in your head? 
I'm saying 14. I'm saying 14. <laughs> minus 14 plus 3. Minus 11. 14. 9 on 14. And then you go to the magnitude of AD. You go to the square root of 8 and 14 squared. Put in your calculator. So easy. 11 on 14 squared. There it is. Question time. Now, no part. <laughs> No part was me doing it in the actual ways. I go, I go like, Jamie, I go like a bad out here. When I was at your age, and even when I went to the uni and did stuff, I used to throw caution in the wind. I just go for everything. And if I did one plus one is three or something, because how much? Say it was worth four marks, and you got three anyway. Is the top of the but then you got the time left over to do other stuff. Zero. Yeah, okay. So distance from a point. <laughs> point. <laughs> So Riley, we're going to go from there to there to there and a certain number of those because that gives us that vector, not equation vector. So the equation would be the whole thing, we're only wanting the vector. And so we only use that vector, B to C, because if I multiply those two, and this is actually it's almost like where would it be perpendicular? It will only be perpendicular when we multiply those two and get zero, which you know in principle, but you really know what it means. It just means that this thing is wobbling everywhere. You know, oops, there it is when lambda was 3 on 14. They will be that and that will be perpendicular. Of course, it's the whole line is perpendicular, but it's really talking about that vector and that. So it's one of the beauties of vectors is you've just got things anywhere and you can figure out what's going on between them. They're not even connected. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs>